Delvatex 3D optical inspection systems don't just detect problems. They learn and improve with every use. Plus, they're setting a new standard for precision. It's AI at its best. We are at Electronica. We're at the booth of Delvitec, and I'm with Roberto Gatti, the CEO of the company. And he's going to talk to us about the uh, automated uh, optical inspection system that Delvitec makes. There are many, many uh, automatic optical inspection systems available on the market, um, have been for many years. What, what made you start up your company and, uh, and think that you could do something different in this market? Yeah, the company, as you say, is just six years old. Yeah. When we started this company, we had uh, two options, basically. Mm -hmm. First option was to create a company that is based on a product. Okay. Second option was to create a company that is based on a technology. Right. Product uh, would have been easier, so you simply give a look to what is available in the market. You create something very similar. Yeah. Technology, it's uh, much more difficult. It requires uh, many more investments. Uh, but we decided to go to the technology. So basically what we created is a technological platform to be used for AOI that is involving at all levels artificial intelligence. So basically we created a technology and this is the only one technology available in the market right now that integrates high-end hardware together with high-end usage of artificial intelligence. And, and can I ask you, what, why was it, what was it about the existing the, the um, equipment, the, the, the conventional equipment on the market, that was uh, maybe not so good or, or had some problems that made you think that, that you required this new platform that you've been describing? Point was this, um, in the market there were, and there are still, a lot of good companies with uh, 3D optical inspection system. Basically, are systems that are capable to reconstruct in 3D whatever you see on a board and inspect, okay? But uh, you can do this only with mathematical algorithms, classic, and you can do it reconstructing a 3D measurement with X, Y, Z measurement. Yeah. What was really missing was the possibility to inspect whatever had a different shape from a classic electronic component. And what was even missing was the possibility to keep on increasing the quality of the detectability. Just to be clear, yeah. so, the, um, so the, the, the competing systems maybe are, are failing to detect some defects or some, uh, some problems on the board that really need to be found. Correct. Mm. Let's say that the classic systems are just created to inspect electronic components. But if you have a PCB, with some metallic parts, some plastic parts, glue or other objects, basically you have to avoid the inspection. What we created is something simple. So basically it's based on neural network right. usage. So artificial intelligence is a big buzzword. It's very, 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 lots of people, of course, we hear about this everywhere. But so you've brought it to this field. Yeah, let's say that the biggest difference is the fact that we don't use AI as a commodity. Our AI is embedded in the hardware we are using, so it's a complete solution. With AI, what we do is train the neural network to detect whatever is happening on a board and whatever has to be inspected. There are huge advantages in the usage of AI, but there is a huge disadvantage. AI is very powerful, yeah. but it needs a very powerful hardware. Yes. So basically what we have done in this period of time is not only develop a very strong software, but it's also develop a very strong hardware platform. Yeah. So cameras are custom made, PCBs inside the machine for communication, for high speed analysis are custom designed, and everything is fully integrated to obtain what? To be capable to inspect a window that is 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters, acquiring almost 98 gigabit of data and be capable to acquire and detect everything in 0.2 seconds. 0.2 seconds. 0.2 seconds. Wow. Yep. And okay. this is the challenge yeah. that we faced and this is what we solved right now. So we are basically very fast in acquisition and in inspection. We are capable to detect whatever is possible, yeah. but to do so, it's a very integrated platform. For yeah. this reason, yeah. I must say, the huge difference in between us 
and our competitors is the fact that our AI is fully integrated in a platform. Yes. This platform that is now used for the inspection of the quality of a process of manufacturing will be later on used for microelectronics and also in the semiconductor area. So this is a yeah. very nice future. Yeah, absolutely. And so um, in, in use with your customers, um, what kind of um, features or defects are, are you detecting with, with your machine that um, you know, is really helpful to your customers that they were not able to, to detect before? So a lot of things. Let's say that uh, if you have the screws on a board, and you need to understand if the screws are there, yes. if they are tightened or if they are missing, we can do the job. Yeah. If you have a mechanical shields, you want to detect if they are there, if they are precisely there or not, we can do. If you have a glue, transparent glue or different colors glue, mm -hmm. and you want to analyze them and reconstruct 3D to understand the depth of the glue, it's possible to do. If even with a transparent glue? Even with a transparent so glue. So how do you see something that's transparent that can't be seen? Yeah, this is very complicated. Yeah. We do it because inside our optical head we have a patented system that is using a polarized camera. So basically we are capable with a polarized camera to understand where the glue is, yeah, yeah, yeah. detect it and measure the thickness of yeah. the glue itself. Yeah, yeah. On top of this we are detecting some very complicated components like connectors where the pins are in different rows one behind the other right. and you cannot yeah. really reconstruct a 3D image mm -hmm. but you can detect it using the characteristics of the image itself right. and to use the characteristics of course we use AI. Yes. Yeah. These are just some simple examples. Very good and is the, um, is the state of um of AI technology and the, the, the kind of the, um, the models that you're using for, 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 for training the system, uh, are they pow so they're they're powerful enough? Are you excited about kind of what could be next about how that AI technology could de develop to yeah. enable you to do even more? Absolutely. We are doing more and more and more for yeah. this reason inside the board of directors of them. So your system is, is kind of updatable? It will continue Absolutely. to, yeah? It's okay. uh, completely upgradable, updatable mm -hmm. and uh, you know, Inside the board of directors of DevTech, we get a guy whose name is uh, Dr. Jürgen Schmittuber, who is the father of AI in the world. So yeah. basically, from this guy, we are getting a lot of information. We are exchanging a lot of information yeah. on technology, yeah. and the machine is uh, yeah. progressively doing better and better and yeah. better. Yeah. And the same result is given inside the manufacturing plant of our customers. Mm -hmm. Better and better and better yeah. results. And so someone who already owns one of these machines, yes. it's upgradable so they can, they can get new capabilities? Okay. Absolutely. We have uh, several customers already with this Horus machine or with the Atom machine. Yeah. And basically, the machine keeps on being um, improved. It's like the brain of a guy, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you start, uh, you know something, and step by step you get to know more and more and more. Yeah. Yeah. But everything is very easy. Yeah. Very easy. And from your customer's point of view, this is a, a new kind of machine, as you've been describing, that, that uh, um, and it's got a, a new and different way of being used. Um, how easily do your, your customers find it to, um, to, train, the, uh, to, to train their machines to, to inspect for the kind of features that they are interested in um, for, their, for their boards? It's very easy. When uh, they give a look at this machine, uh, they immediately understand that it is a next generation AI. Mm -hmm. okay? It's not a classic uh, 3D yeah, AI. Yeah. But uh, when they get to know the machine, uh, they are a little bit afraid of AI because they really do not understand what's going on. Later on, after a few hours of training, uh, they immediately understand the powerful that is inside and they immediately understand how challenging and how beautiful it is to work on the machine because basically, you're working on a very advanced system that has no limit. So limit is exactly what you want the machine to learn, nothing else. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, Delvitec, you're, you're a company based in, uh, in Switzerland, um, uh, in the heart of Europe. Uh, you supply these machines all over the world? Yeah, we have uh, Switzerland. Let's say that Delvitec is a Swiss-based company. Yeah. Okay. We are in the heart of Switzerland, but we have an important office in India. We have an important office in the US. One new important office in Germany, another one in Italy. We supply machines throughout the world, especially if you want in India right now, because this is a very important market, fast growing market, but also Europe and America are for sure very important market for us. But we are capable to supply 
and especially support uh, these machines uh, throughout the world. Very good. Okay, thank you very much, Roberto. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you.